President Carol. Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down and salamato sa kurtisya. Malang speech. You know, I'm very late and uh, DFA is uh, hurrying me up. Sabi ko marami akong problema dyan sa Mayon. I still have to late ang... Sige sila complain doon. I think we devolved the money almost five days ago. There is something wrong there, sabi ko. Sa inyo yan, I have not uh, been remiss in my duty. Uh, today I leave for New Delhi to attend the ASEAN India Special Commemorative Summit on India's Republic Day celebration. Alam mo, uh, the last time there was this uh, communique, a not verbal from, uh, sabihin ko na lang, there's nothing wrong with it. The last uh, Independence Day, we were also invited. But I think that President Aquino, BC maybe at that time, chose to just send a, a token delegation. In this year's invitation, they pointed out that uh, they were uh, more or less uh, read between the lines. Uh, Sana this time, the Chief of State, and that the incident last year would not be repeated again. So, nung advice ng DFA is, uh, you have to go, because uh, every ASEAN uh, meeting, uh, almost all, nandoon, uh, we cannot afford to be absent. Now, the reason really why I'm going is that we're okay sa ASEAN. But uh, it's all trade and commerce and uh, everything else under the sun. Except that we do not have the platform for terrorism and order problems of law and order. You have the vacant... Uh, Diyan sa Celebes, Sulusi, bakante tayo dyan eh, Andy Molocas. Naku, sabi ko, kaya ako pupunta, sabihin ko, kung ganito na lang naman, so what's the use of meeting just once a year? And probably the ministerial uh, level, once every three months. We cannot accomplish anything because yung waters natin, contiguous to the archipelag, uh, Archipelago of the Philippines is getting to be dangerous. And yet, it is only Indonesia who's active there. So, sabihin ko sa inyo, kung hindi natin kaya, we just have to call China to come in and blow them up. Just like Somalia, that Arden Strait there, were it not for the presence of the Chinese, hindi mahinto yung piracy doon. It's the doubling up everything, fuel, you have to go around, then the freight charges, of course it goes with it, and the insurance. Yan ang mahirap dyan sa... So we have to come up with the platform how to deal with terrorism. Ako, I go for a hardline policy. Blow them up in the high seas. Sirain mo, kanyunin mo. Otherwise, if we do not do the extreme measures, we'd always be at the mercy of criminals. Ngayon, pag ayaw nila, edit tayo. And my orders to the armed forces would really be to destroy. Now, well, destroy means you have to destroy physically. And if you have to kill, you kill. That's the only way to destroy an enemy. You cannot, it cannot be an empty words. Now, uh, 
the second is uh, maybe the, um, to complete the stories that were started during the uh, last ASEAN conference. Uh, I, I'm glad that India is uh, inviting us so that we can uh, do something about the other uh, allied problems of uh, each other's governance. But what we have to is we keep on the uh, coming meeting in Australia. It's all about security again. Let us talk what would be the platform that we will represent. Otherwise, ako pa naman nagsabi na I do not want to go to Australia. And uh, Turnboy, uh, si Prime Minister, has always been asking me again and again if I can reconsider. But with an empty uh, baggage there, wala man tayong masabi ng concrete except that we talk all over again about cooperation and sharing of... Uh, we've been doing that. We've been sharing information with everybody as a matter of fact, all these years. And yet the thing in Marawi came into being. So I need more than just uh, talk and uh, more than just uh, promises. I want it done during my term. And uh, my orders are especially uh, an ideology that is so bankrupt, so corrupt, na wala namang nalaman kung hindi pumatay at magpatay at magsira. And we cannot live with that kind of world. Ako kung ganun lang naman araw-araw, just give it to the order. Hindi ako pwede niyang half cook, half talk na ano. Just like drugs. Millions have been afflicted. Millions have been destroyed. Now you treat me... The problem is the Kailangan talaga tapusin ko ito sa termino ko. Lalo na ang drug. That is my aim. I will destroy the drug industry in the Philippines. Not for us anymore because marami na ang may tama. But at least yung mga anak, mga apo ninyo, Will shall have been rid of the scourge of drugs. Kayong magkumpiyansa yung human rights. They cannot defend you. And I do not care about the human rights. Solve the problem first. Hindi ka nila ma... We have almost six Filipinas dying, committing suicide, Jumping out of the window. Mga po, ninindi mo lang kayo pinansin yan. And in other countries, they've been raping. And here we are, I'm dealing with criminals and you're all noise. You, you can go to hell as a matter of fact. Karabing. That is why I directed the Department of Labor to stop processing. Now, let me ask publicly, I hope I'm not uh, Secretary of the Foreign Affairs here, I hope I'm not uh, committing it the diplomatic uh, FUPA. But uh, one more incident about uh, being uh, a woman, a Filipina worker being raped there, committing suicide. I'm going to stop. I'm going to ban. And I'm sorry, the Filipinos there, you can all go home. Total, pag na, nag-alis kayo lahat ng mga Pilipino dyan, they will also be having a hell of a time adjusting to that. They have papayag na a, a, a continuous incident of things like that. They have to endure rape. They have to endure uh, starvation. And they get about only four hours of sleep. That's a universal... Story for all uh, Filipinos. Can I ask you now just to treat my countrymen as human beings with dignity? I do not want to fight with you 
we need your help to improve our country. As a matter of fact, the incomes there of the Filipinos contribute a lot to the GDP of the country. That is taken. Wala tayong ano niya, nakakatulong kayo. Pero kung if uh, it ends up with misery, rape and everything on my country, men committing suicide. Well, there's always a time. We are poor. We may need your help. But we will not do it at the expense of the dignity of the Filipino. Let me be blunt about this because Kuwait has always been an ally. But please do something about it and for the other countries in the Middle East. We are very, very sending Filipinos, doctors and nurses to help you also. And in return, helping us in the very much needed revenues for their families here. I, I, I hope that you'd listen to me because I mean well. But I will never, never, never again tolerate one more incident of rape to the point of uh, committing suicide, jumping out of the window. That is something the Filipino people cannot stomach. And if I cannot do something about it, then there is no reason for me to stay in this position a minute longer. I am going to dispense with, uh, might as well just uh, wait for the product after the meat. Very important that I talk to the ASEAN regarding if another platform aside from the trade and commerce and everything, that has something to do with the security. It's getting to be a dangerous world. Why do I have to be patient? You know, you afford my people the dignity of their being. And maybe, if you are a criminal, I may reconsider human rights as part of my understanding of the problem of what's happening. Hindi ko kaya ito, mga ganito, temporary lang to. Whether I sit as president for one year, it doesn't really matter to me. Sabi ko nga sa military, if I stay a minute longer, I am asking you to go into immunity and drag me out. Pagka isang binuto lang after the six years, barilin ninyo ako. Because then I would have violated the Constitution. Para klaro tayong lahat. I do not intend to stay a minute longer. But within my term, kung sabihin ninyo magdiktador, diktador ako, no, I am not. There are laws to be followed. But I will go for the harsh measures. Kasi itong mga kriminal, itong terorista, walang awa naman. I mean, they you decapitate you in public. They don't really bother about your family, ilan ang nawala, at pinakabastos ang ginawa mo. Now, let me ask you a question. Lain ko lahat yun. E kung gawain ko kayo sa inyo yan, would you be happy? It's just a matter of getting a sharp and Praktisado ako nung maliit pa ako because uh, kung ang ulam namin manok, ako talaga ang nagbuluntir, magbubuluntir ng ano kaya kung gawain ko sa inyo yan? You know, it takes to totango. What you are capable of doing, I can do better ten times over. So think about it. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong when I say, do not destroy my country. Do not spoil the economic strides, however small and humble. We are climbing bit by bit. Tapos yung mga anak namin, 
eh, huwag din yung kaya yung mga nanay at tatay, you know, when a family loses a wife going abroad, this family is dysfunctional. Wala na yan. O anak niya, walang manobader to take off, paski yung mga infant iniiwan. When the, the father goes out, the family becomes dysfunctional. When the father and mother decides to work abroad, both of them, the family is floundering. Iniwan lang doon sa mga lulo. At alam ninyo kay mga durugista kasi alam ninyo may regular remittances. Yan ang dinidikit ninyo. Shabu is for the poor. It is not for the rich. Cocaine pati cannabis, yan sila. May mga mayama ng put. Bakit patayin ni Duterte yung mahirap? Because doon ang, doon ang selling, pati buying. And it is an organized crime. When it is an organized crime, yung pinaka-basurero, pati yung pinaka-drug lord, kasama kayo. So I am sorry. You say that you are poor, oh fine. But the law says when it is an organized crime, the act of one is the act of all, and the liability of one is the liability of all. Ay, itong drug lord na ito, itong kasali kayo. So, medyo kasi pahirap kami. May autobo office says, I, Rodrigo Duterte, would only enforce the law against the rich and leave the poor to fuck this country because they are poor. Hindi mo yung pwede ganun. I have to enforce the law against all, against the generals, against the cabinet members, against everybody. And if you can prove a case against my son, I will leave him to. Bahala ka. We make our own story in this world. At the end of the day, you answer for your deed or misdeeds, period. Cannot be worrying around anda kita, dito kaibigan kita. Ngayon ito si Atong, I was hearing, pinawag ko yan. Tinawag ko yan siya. Sinabi ko, Atong, ikaw ang number one na gambler dito sa Dabaw. Hawak mo lahat, huwag tayo magbulan. Pumunta ka doon sa PCSO, hintuin mo yung lahat ng illegal at tulungan mo ang gobyerno. That was the only reason why I called for Atong Ang. Tell him, many years ago, I do not want to mention the president. He wanted to set up a high ally in Davao. Sabi ko sa kanya, kaibigan tayo, huwag mong pilitin yan, mag-aaway lang tayo. Ayaw ko makipag-ano sa iyo, pero kung pilitin niya na high ally sa Davao, talagang magka... Ah, balita ka man tigas ka, di ikaw. Tsaka yung sabi ni Frank Derlo na ano, magtanong siya kung sino. Sinito Derlo, if I talk to somebody urging a case against you sa PDAP, bring that person in my presence and I will resign because you are my friend. Hindi nga ako sinabi ko, it is not in my system. It is not in my style na maghabol nang ni wala ko pakialam sa kaso ninyo sa mama sa panong magdala ka ng tao dito kung sinong inutusan ko yang sa pidapidap sabi pa naman ni na polis marami pero siyang sasabihin oh nauna na nga yung mga kalaban ninyo but ikaw kasi kaibigan kita noon pa so nare-respeto ko yan I told you before in front of so many congressmen wala akong ginagawa against you. But do not force the issue na may adjusto. Kung may makita kayo na mali, go and shout every day for all I care. Total itong gobyerno na ito, hindi man ito akin. Whether it will rot or it will ripen, I can only be there to sympathize with the Filipino people.
Hindi ko ito personal. I do not lose sleep. Kung mag-corruption lahat. Ang akin lang is the future of my, the next generation. Kita mo na nga, nagpapakamatay na, nagpaparape na doon. Tinitiis na lang ang indignity. Tapos yung mga anak dito, papakainin yun ng droga. Kaya ako nasasaktan. Sabi niyo drama, problema ninyo yan. If it is a pretended sentiment, fine. But I would still hold you to account for what you do to your fellow men. Hindi ako pang ordinary yung... You don't, uh, there's even no need for, for you to address me as president. Rudy mo na lang ako. I'm not so enamored with this perk sa position. Remember that I won as president because of the people. Period yan. So, yung utang na loob ko sa taong ordinaryo. Yung mahirap. Okay, kasi yung mahirap, yun ang ilangan ng gobyerno. Itong mga mayaman dito. Ito dito, itong hangar dito. Puro private jets yan. Ang may-ari niyan, mga mayaman. Every company of uh, whatever. May mga jet yan. Kaya hindi ma-improve, improve yung put. Kaya dito yung maka-extend ng runway, paano puro mayaman? Uh, kayong mga mayaman, you better be prepared. Ano sabihin ng mga manager dito, even a clerk of the airport would say that it's about time that we use that goddamn space there. Bubuldosin ko kayong lahat. Wala ko nang pakialam. Hindi rin kayo nagpahiram ng jet ninyo. Yung aeroplano ang ginamay ko sa kampanya, naghinto pa sa runway, pumutok pa. So what do I care? I paid for my expenses. Uh, yan ang totoo dyan. Basta lahat magbayad ngayon. Lahat. Hindi nagbayad ng ilang taon because you were uh, you using the influence on your money. Forget it. Huwag kayong magduda yung, ano, I, we do not intervene. That is why I want to Congress to proceed. Mistig ka kayo. As a matter of fact, ako yung mismo nag insist Para malaman ninyo yung totoo. It is endless suspicion. It's about time that magharapan tayo. Kaya ko binibara lahat. Wala kayong makalkal sa akin. Billions? Sus Mario Sep. To my billions. I'm going because I'm late. Salamat. Thank you. 
Over, over, over. Oh, my God.